Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to identify the absolute maximum, absolute minimum, uh, local maximum or local minimum of a graph. So basically the absolute maximum or absolute minimum is going to be the highest or lowest point that a graph can go ahead and reach. So if you look at this graph, you can see that this graph is extending indefinitely up to infinity. So therefore there's not going to be any absolute maximum because the graph is going to continue to go up. However, there is within a certain range of points, if there is a maximum point kind of like at the crest of a, um, of a hump, that is a maximum point. So if I was to kind of like shrink this graph and just zero in focus between the range between my two hands, you can see that the point 0 comma negative 2 is a maximum point. But it's not the absolute um, maximum because it's not the highest point of the graph because the graphs and behavior goes up. So this is a local max. Okay. Now you can see there's two other points. We have negative 3 comma 6 and negative 3 comma negative 4. Now the graph, the lowest point on this graph is going to be negative 3, negative 6. That's the graph that goes the lowest. So therefore, this is what we call our maximum min. And this would be what we called our local min. Because even though it is a minimum point, it's not the absolute lowest of the graph. Um, over here, what you can see is as we kind of work left to right, you can see this graph goes indefinitely down. So there's not going to be an absolute max or an absolute min, I'm sorry. And then as it goes up, this point right here, rather than being a maximum or a minimum in an interval, it's really just kind of like the change here. It's, you can see this graph is kind of like rotating through. So it's really not a hump at all. So therefore, it's, it's really not, it's not going to be any maximum or any min. But as you can see, as this graph kind of comes up, it kind of gets up to the crest here at the point negative, four, negative 1, 4. Now we have to determine, is that a maximum or a local, uh, absolute maximum or a local maximum? Well, since the end behavior of the graph continues to go up, this is just a local max. And then we already know that the graph goes infinitely down. So within this little range here, you can see that there's a little dip, and then it comes back up. So that would be a local min. OK, so now we have a little nice little piecewise function here. And again, piecewise functions, just like if it was a continuous graph here, we're looking for maximum or minimum values bet between a given range of x values. So if we were to kind of look here, between these two ranges, you can see that this is the, this is the lowest point between the, uh, the, between the x ranges of, uh, oh, that's actually negative 3. Between negative, between negative 2 and negative 4, you can see that this is the lowest point. And if I kind of expand and step away, you can see that this is the absolute lowest point. So this is what we call an absolute min. Okay. Then you can see as my graph kind of goes up, my m behavior is going to continue to go up. But within these ranges here, of, of within the ranges in between, you can kind of see that these two are maximum points. Now, they both have the exact same maximum height, where the y coordinate would be 5. But that's OK. You can have two local maxes have the exact same. So, But these would be local maxes. They would not be absolute because the graph continues to go above them. Then you can see there's another low point in within a range of x values between looks like negative 2 and 0. You can see there's another minimum point, but it's not the absolute minimum. So we're just going to call this the um, we're going to call this the uh, local min. And I don't know why I gave you originally these coordinates. This is actually not a point on there. So therefore, that's not going to be a local min. But what we're looking at is between a range of values of kind of concrescence or uh, depressions to be able to help us out. Oh, that's my phone. OK. So now we go ahead and look at this. And if we have a graph, again, you can see the graphs and behaviors going down. But you can see that it kind of peaks at two values. And those are going to be our highest values. So those are going to be our absolute max. So we have two absolute max. And then you can see there's a little down point. It's not going to be the lowest because the graph continues to go down. So that will be a local min. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine the absolute max, absolute min, local min, local max of a graph. Thanks.